Hey folks, it's Steve Gaff of JUF. This is the second part of the video. What we're what I'm doing today is I'm showing you uh, how to take cat commands from the FT991A and incorporate those into the FL Rig user interface. The uh, user interface on the FL Rig essentially gives you 24 uh, available command lines, I guess you could call them, and they have them located on three different tabs. So I showed you earlier uh, to get to the uh, what they call let me show you what they call this here. They call this the Embedded Tools tab. You want to make sure this box is checked right here. And then what you want to do is click down here. And what you're going to see is tab A, B, C. And I've already programmed A in a previous video, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to program tab B, which is my CW operation, and I'm going to do C, which is my HF operation. So the ideal here is I'm going to show you the tools so that you don't have to be jumping back and forth between your radio and your FL rig, you know, if you're working on the computer, which I like to do a lot. I still use the waterfall on the 991A. Um, that's that's always gets a lot of use but what I've done is I've taken a lot of those buttons that I used to have to go find on the 991A like in the FM list and so forth I move those all into cat commands now so things are a lot simpler if I want to change power change squelch uh, things of that nature all right so let's get started uh, again referencing the cat operation manual um, this is a pretty good manual it basically gives you an example a couple of examples here uh, but it does have all of the programming information and just one thing of very important is I'm only using the set command in all of my programming I have not done anything with the read or answer uh, or write command because I uh, or excuse me the read and answer command because I didn't want to screw anything up so I'm just kind of being cautious all right let's get started here all right I'm going to bring up my reference list again now what we'll do is I'm going to go to config setup send commands then I'm going to click command now we're going to start with number nine which is right here the zero beat so just uh, just this is how I do it I've got my the name of the, the name of the command I've got the command itself with the semicolon at the end three space bars and then I have an actual comment line so that that's that's how I have it so I know exactly what's going on this is command number 10 this is the name of the command here this is the name only this is the actual command CS1 and then this is of course what it does command number 11 is spot off see how I'm copying those over oops there uh, my help if I okay <laughs> all right copy and paste there we go and the command there is CS0 and again just copy the information line and then of course command 12 is my break in Uh, let's see here. I can't seem to get that to flow right. There we go. Here's the command BI1 turns it on. That activates your key essentially. And uh, with this worksheet here, I just copy these over. And if you guys want a copy of this, just send me a message. I'm going to move over to number 13. If you want to see this, just email me and I'll send, I'll be happy to send this to you. BI0. So you can now do a lot of things on your 991A through FL Rig. And this is something I always liked with Ham Radio Deluxe and Win Yesu was I had the ability to go in and do some things. And now with this, I have the same ability now with the cat commands. All right, again, here's a squelch code uh, 005. This is the information field here. And this is the second part of the field. Remember, some of these I use the shift command, which gives me a dual function on the command button. And uh, let's see here. Yep, yeah, that's then we go to number 15, which is attenuator. This is in case I got a real strong signal coming in. Uh, attenuator RA00 is the attenuator is off. And RA01 attenuator is on. And 
And uh, like I say, if you want this file, send to me an email, and I'll be happy to send to you this ASCII file. And you can copy these over um, and get going right away. I really enjoy working with uh, FL Rig. I enjoy working, interfacing with the radio using FL Rig, and like I did with a Ham Radio Deluxe and so forth. I always enjoyed that. Uh, I just like the fact that this program here is so user friendly and just, I mean, it's just great. All right, so there's our tabs there for uh, CW. Now we're going to go down to number 17. And again, just copy them. There's the command VM. And this switches uh, memory channels. And then quick memory recall, which is the next one. I just figured I'd just go through and videotape the entire process. That way you can see it. I know it gets a little boring, but you know, sometimes if you can see this stuff, you know, it, it's pretty cool because it gives you an idea, you know, versus just talking about it on a PowerPoint or something. If you actually see it, it uh, kind of has a little bit different meaning. There's another, that's one of those dual functions again with the shift key. See how that works there. I got all those labeled. And command 20 is uh, the squelch 5 and 10. Again, there's the command. And, uh, you know, try some of these. If you've got a 991A, try some of these. If you've got an ICOM, there are uh, different protocols. I'm sure, in general, the cat command is probably very similar. Uh, but there may be some certain things with the nomenclature and stuff. We'll go to number 21. So reference your specific uh, you know, if you have a ICOM or something, don't go put these codes in there because it probably will not work. But uh, whoops, that's supposed to go there. Not paying attention. Uh, that's power 5 and 25. Okay, the first setting here will be power 5 watts. Whoops. All right, there's the 5 watt setting. PC005. PC025, that is the 25 watt setting with the shift key. And the next one is uh, so I can step through my power settings here. The first one is PC050, FT50, no, 50 watts. And this one here, uh, the next one is PC075. With shift keys, it'll take me to 75 watts. Again, these are probably, a lot of these are probably redundant or maybe really not needed, but uh, hey, it gives you some interface with the radio, it gives you some training. IPO, inter inter intercept point optimization, which is basically no gain on the receive, uh, zero dB gain there. And then the next one is AMP1 and AMP2. It's a, this again, this is dual function. So there's the AMP1, which is there, and that is uh, 10 dB, or 1.6 S units. And there is AMP number 2 on the shift, and that is uh, 20 dB, or 3.3 S units. All right, cool. Here we go. Alpha. Alpha is VHF, UHF. Bravo is CW. C is... Um, is uh, HF. So like if I want to change my squelch, uh, let me let me go to uh, shift. Quick memory bank. Uh, I've got the memory, I've got some of them stored up here. And I've got these stored here. I'm just going to go to here. Uh, this is my quick memory bank I have stored in the 991A. I just put them here also. Let's go here real quick. All right, there we go. Go back to here, squelch. I just bumped the power up. Okay, there's the squelch now. Shift squelch again. Um, IPO settings. So like this is IPO, no no gain. Press this amp one will taint will increase at 10 dB. Shift amp two will be 20 dB, and this will take me back to IPO. There's my quick memory recall. These are my five frequencies I have stored in the 991A. 
So the beauty of this is if I want to increase my squelch, just shift, hit shift and plus and that'll increase my squelch. But if I want to go talk on the repeaters, I just go to number A. I switch back from VFO to memory mode. And now I've got my repeaters going. Okay, there's my repeaters. It doesn't tell you the memory location. I haven't figured out how to get that. But if I can go up and down, uh, there's the next channel, memory channel 11, memory channel 12, uh, memory channel 13. I'm going to go ahead and lock the VFO. That way I don't actually bump it. All right, the VFO is locked now. And if I want to go to my local chat channel, I can do that. Or if I want to go to the local repeater, uh, again, I can change the power back to 25. Click it here once, it'll drop the power. So I can do all these things now with FL rig, and I'm not fumbling in the in the radio trying to go through the FM list key. I've got all those popular things pulled out and I've got them right there available. All right guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I really do enjoy uh, working with this FL rig and FL Digi. Um, this this is something I've been extremely happy with. I just there's everything about it just really flows nicely. Everything's very logical. Uh, it it seems like the way I would program it if I was a programmer, but uh, everything just kind of seems to fit and uh, make sense. So anyway, that's my pitch there. 73. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a good uh, have a good week.